So there you have it. All of this, of course, will culminate in the assessment of uh, President Bola Tinubu's led administration one year after um, they began work. So we we'll talk a little bit about that. But and uh, one very big factor with this administration is, of course, that pronouncement that President Tinubu made on the day he was inaugurated. Subsidy is gone. And people have I've said that a lot of the things going on in the country is because of that statement. What if subsidy was not gone from May 29, 2023? How would it have looked like? We have uh, joining us now to help us paint that picture and some others, Mr. Johnson Chuku. He's the chief executive officer and the founder of uh, Kauri Asset Management Limited joins us virtually from Lagos, Mr. Tuku. Thank you so much for your time. So what if the president did not make that statement, subsidy is gone? What do you think would have happened in the country with the economy at this time? Well, Indy, thank you for having me. Um, it would be at the rim of conjecture what could happen, could happen in the economy. But I would try to have a guess on what we would have been dealing with. Um, at the macro level, uh, in terms of inflation rates, we may have had an inflation rate that is below the current 3.69%. 30, uh, 30 Remember that um, as at April last year, inflation rate was 22.22%. 22 That's one factor. Then we may still have been dealing, we may be dealing with a more volatile exchange rate, uh, principally because um, uh, a lot of the uh, imported fuel go to neighboring countries. So the demand on our efforts may be high, may could have been higher than what it is today because when the HGM price of fuel uh, was uh, adjusted upwards from about what it's seven naira to about 560 uh, 528 naira or so or 68 naira uh, the volume of fuel that was being spoken to neighboring countries decreased and therefore had impacted positively on our demand for FX. So we may have had to deal with a, a, a weaker or a more volatile exchange rate. Uh, but for most average Nigerians, what is impacting the most is the inflation rate. Uh, food inflation came at a print of 40.53% in the month of April. So um, if you look at that, probably we would have been dealing with um, a, or a larger depletion in our foreign reserve. Let's put it that way. Because if the government had maintained uh, fixed exchange rates, or what they call then called managed exchange rates, uh, they would have been trying to support the efforts uh, uh, exchange rate, the foreign exchange rate with the reserve. And that thing that would have happened is that the amount of money that is going to the three tiers of government wouldn't be what it is today. So the three tiers of government would have been struggling to meet their obligations, particularly salary payment. As you may know, that not many states, um, civil servants are, are now crying off areas of salary payment because the states are getting enhanced uh, allocation. In the first four months of this year, total allocation to the three years are going to about 4.6 trillion naira. That's the highest in the history of this country. So we may have been dealing with public sector uh, financial difficulties that is impacting on meeting the obligations to the, particularly the public servants. Mm -hmm. uh, so on the balance, I think. Um, we would have seen, which I said, you have to hazard a guess on what we will be. We would have seen uh, more established uh, price levels. We would have seen uh, a weaker reserve, and they would have seen a more constrained fiscal space for the federal and state levels. At the federal and state levels. Well, even as we speak, there are conversations that subsidy has been reinstated. I mean, even the IMF has said that subsidy will cost Nigeria about 8.4 trillion naira this year. So, I mean, at this point, there's a lot of uncertainty as to at this subsidy on petrol in this case, it's still existent or is not. Um, well, there's, I think there's actually no debating the fact that our subsidy on petrol exists today, but. Um, the magnitude uh, may not be as it was before the removal of subsidy or before the adjustment. The subsidy that came back to hurt us now is because of the deep of the local currency or deep of the local currency. Uh, clearly, the landing cost of fuel is higher than the pump price. Uh, if you adjust for government intervention, then you could be talking of a pump price that mirrors the price of uh, diesel. You know that diesel is between 1,200 and 1,400 today. And um, if you look at ICE, that is uh, the international price of uh, fuel per metric ton. 
Um, it's going to be in the region of eight, uh, 800, $750, $800 uh, per metric ton. So if you um, use the uh, the number of liters in a, in a, a metric ton, about 1164 liters per metric ton, and the compute based on current exchange rate, because exchange rate is a major factor uh, in the landing cost of fuel, the exchange rate is about 1,500 naira. You will be landing, if you factor in all your cost, throughput cost, Cost of finance, a payment to the master, payment to NPA, uh, the uh, free charge. You will be learning the product in the region of one thousand naira, and then when you uh, add the marketers' uh, profit and their other expenses, you may end up a pump price of more than one thousand naira. So clearly, there is subsidy on fuel because principally because exchange uh, rate depreciated. I did some analysis when the presidency subsidy is gone, and I. Found out from uh, the NNPC, one day they used to arrive at the 568 naira to a liter. They used the initially about 750 naira to the dollar. And um, so if naira had been at 750 naira to a dollar, maybe uh, even with movement in ice, you could still be buying fuel at maybe 700 naira, 650 uh, or 700 naira. Uh, but today, uh, Asian has moved to about back to 1,500 1, naira. And we, if you have to factor in that exchange rate, then you clearly admit that subsidy has crept back into the uh, pricing of refined petroleum, particularly fuel. All right, Mr. Chiku, thank you so much. Uh, and uh, we know that this conversation this is the beginning of it, uh, this period, I'm sure the whole of this month. But well, thank you for sharing your thoughts and perspective with us this morning. Thank you for having me.